Today we're gonna to show you guys how to install your V2 Harrington Arms Dagger Magwell on your PSA Dagger. Then we're gonna show you how to uninstall it and answer a few common questions we get all the time. So to install your Magwell, you're going to get a package like this with the Allen keys hidden in the folded tag up front. Everything you're gonna get is on the table right here. You're going to have the body itself, the post, two different screws and two different Allen keys. You'll see why here in a second. First things first, you are going to want to slide the post in the bottom of the frame. Sometimes we see with PSA's injection molding, this area can be tight. So push it until it is flush with the bottom of the frame here and that the hole lines up with the back of the hole on the frame. And then you're going to start the bolt in the back. You don't have to get this tight, but I do like to start it and make sure that it is seated fully. Do not tighten it all the way down. You will do this here in a second. And then you're gonna grab the Magwell body itself. The version two has this lip on the front here. We did this to reduce all of the tension on the bolts itself and use it as a leverage point. So what you're going to do is you're going to rock the Magwell into the frame like that. It should not take a lot of force. You obviously cannot install it any other way. You can see here it's not sitting flat. So you wanna rock the front end like an AK mag, if you will, and make sure that it is sitting flat on the bottom of the frame. And then you can install your last bolt with the smallest Allen key. Again, I would just get this started. You don't need to tighten it down all the way. All right, I went until it got a little bit snug and then we will go back to the larger Allen key, the bolt on the back and go until it gets snug again. Okay, both are lightly snug. They're not tight by any stretch. And now what we want to do is we want to look from the side down and see the gap and make sure that it is even. And if it is not push down on the table, give it a little tap. What this is doing is allowing the post to fully seat in the frame. It's gonna make the gap a little bit smaller between the magwell and the frame itself. We had to add a lot of tolerance in the V2 because we were seeing just insane amounts of deviation with the PSA frames. So if yours has a little bit more of a gap, that's common. If it is tight, that is also common. We had to account for that with this V2 magwell. Neither of them are incorrect and we can't tell you what it's gonna have, if it's gonna be tight, if it's gonna be loose. Unfortunately, PSA's tolerance are kind of all over the place with that. However, the magwell will work just fine as long as you push down on the table and seat it fully. So what I'm gonna do now is just make sure that this is nice and tight. We will start with the large Allen key in the back to tighten up the post. We'll go just a little bit snug on that, and then we'll go back to the bottom and make sure that that is snug as well. And what I like to do is I like to go back and forth between the two set screws and snugging them evenly as I go, making sure that both are nice and tight. One last check I would do to make sure this is fully installed correctly is grab a stock magazine, whether that's a 15 round Glock mag or a Magpul P mag. I would check and make sure that it locks in place and that it does not want to fall out the bottom. Make sure that it's fully seated in the frame. Check a couple different mags and make sure that Magwell is not stopping a mag from seating. And there you have it. This is a fully installed V2 Magwell from Harrington Arms. If you guys have any questions or concerns, make sure you reach out to support at harringtonarms.com. We'll get you taken care of. To remove the Magwell, obviously remove your magazine. Make sure your gun is clear and safe. And then we are going to remove the bottom set screw first with the 16th inch Allen key, break that loose and completely pull that out. Rock the magwell forward, remove it. And then we will remove the post out the back. Just pull this screw out. Sometimes you gotta tap this out. I'm going to actually use the smaller Allen key to try to wedge it out here. And there we go, that falls out. Now it's back to its original configuration. I would recommend throwing the screws back in here if you want to keep them safe and if you want to use this magwell in the future on a different build. So now to answer some questions you guys may have about the V2 Dagger Magwell. Why did we make a V2? As I mentioned earlier, we had to add this little wing on the front to reduce the leverage on the actual magwell itself. We've seen that certain people would install it incorrectly and then they would grab and rip on the magwell and it would break the bolt off. We wanted to get ahead of that and make it as easy to install as possible and as rigid as possible. We also slimmed it down quite a bit. It had more of a point to it on the version one. Now it is a lot slimmer, not taking up nearly as much room for people that want to concealed carry this handgun. We also included different geometries on the inside to accommodate for different mag extensions. We also added some tolerance on the little wings right here to account for fluctuations in the ejection molding of the frame or people who decide to Cerakote this once they get it from PSA, that adds tolerance and we wanted to make it fit as many frames as we could. So in short, we added a lot of flexibility, compatibility, and reliability in this version too to accommodate a lot more of the PSA daggers. Does the V2 fit a full-size PSA dagger? 
It does not. This only fits the compact dagger. We are working on a V2 that also fits the full-size dagger. We ran into some issues with the previous version. So we're making one completely custom for the full size. That should come out in a couple months. So make sure you check out our website and see when that would be available. The other question we get all the time is, do all the mag extensions on the market work with this magwell? Obviously we don't have every mag extension that has ever existed. However, we've done quite a bit of testing with a lot of different mag extensions. Just for reference, the stock Glock 15 round magazine works great. The 15 round P mag works great as well. Here we have a Harrington Arms prototype extension on here that will be coming out rather soon. Works just fine. The Harrington Arms Plus 2 works really good. And now we can even run the Harrington Arms Plus 5. The version one Magwell did not allow compatibility with this. We have improved that. Now the V2 works just fine with the Plus 5 mag extension. So if you wanna reach out to support at harringtonarms.com, we might have an answer for you if it fits your mag extension. But again, we haven't tested all of them on the market. This funnel is absolutely ginormous. So it's going to accommodate for really big mag extensions. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Last but not least, do I have to modify my frame to make this work? As you've seen, I did not have to modify anything to this frame. It simply was a bolt-on attachment. But like I said, sometimes the post can be kind of tight in that slot. This is the only instance where we can see that you would have to force it in or go in and make sure that none of the material is getting shaved upward deeper into that slot. This is rather rare, but sometimes people will Cerakote frames and you'll see that it's shaving that Cerakote off in that pocket. We did our best to tolerance this and keep it rigid. So you should not have to do any hand fitting, but there is the oddball chance that your frame is just way out of tolerance and it will be kind of tight. And you might have to file a little bit of plastic out on that inside channel. We've seen a lot of great feedback on these. So if you guys love your version two Dagger Magwell, drop a comment down below. We really appreciate the support. Otherwise, if you guys like this video, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.